eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hey guys, Julian here. Got another video for you. Hope you guys are doing well. God bless you. Let me give God the glory. Father God, I give you all the glory for dreams, visions, words of knowledge. Thank you for Rima words. Thank you, Lord, for your word, the Bible. Lord, we take the double-edged sword. We slice out every flickering tongue. Slice off the head of the serpent. And kick them back to the pit where they belong. Take this video to those that need to see it. The shoe fits. Wear it. Amen. Amen. Guys, God bless you. I had received two different messages yesterday. And I felt the Lord saying, these need to get out there ASAP. So and I'm going to gotta kind of uh, explain, explain them as well. But the first message I received, um, it says, my son, this is prophetic insight about being young and youthful. You will be on spiritual ground and you are steering your destiny in God. And this is what lies ahead for you. You are a powerful protector who is like a virgin and pure into that message now you might be asking how did i ever get to be a virgin and pure right after living in sin for 40 years and you know just wandering in the desert so to speak and um, just always crawling back to god asking forgiveness and then going back into sin right how did i how did i get pure in the holy garments uh, to become a virgin and pure and and that's the that's actually one of the prerequisites or one of the exp, uh, descriptions of who the 144 will be, right? Virgin and pure. Guys, I, I did it by being obedient, by having obedience and 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 reading God's word and praying to Father every day. It's a daily thing. It's a daily commitment. And worshiping Father every day. It's a daily thing. Communing with Jesus, communing with Jesus even up to three times a day. It's powerful. Man, stay tuned for my uh, my Sabbath message coming up because I got a I got a testimony I'm going to share from a, a sweet sister that sent it in, and she's talking about um, baptizing for those who are dead, and I I you know I tell you guys to take it to the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit confirm it, and she did, and the Holy Spirit confirmed, man. I'm going to read what she says on, on the Sabbath message. So stay tuned with me. Um, but yeah, wow, it's powerful. But communing, holy communion with Jesus is powerful. You can, if you're sick, if you're, if you you need healing, if someone in your family is sick or need healing, if you need a situation taken care of, that's how you do it, brothers and sisters, because you're, you're intimate with Jesus. And lastly, as I say always, Fast weekly, fast weekly. Start off with a three-day fast and do a three-day fast every week. Do you love God? Do you love God? Do you want to be in God's bosom? Do you want to be a friend of Jesus? Do you want to be intimate with Jesus? This is what it takes. Luke 9, 23, go read it for yourself. Don't, don't take my words for it. This is how. This is how I get messages like this. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I am humbled. I am humbled. Man, if someone would have told me this years ago, I could have I could have been living the narrow path years ago when I was struggling. Guys, my second message is probably what you came for. It's a warning. It's a warning. To who? To believers. To believers. People that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they probably go to church. Listen to this. My son, the prophetic office will soon be young and youthful and be carefree and casual. This is prophetic insight about those in your former life and memories of those who are in God's army. So I'm going to pause right there. For the message. So all those guys, all those people, men and women, brothers and sisters that never knew me before the last probably two or three years, uh, last two years, I'd say, you're off the hook. But those that know have known me, um, 
in my in my life this is you this is talking about you this is speaking of a group of believers who are causing spiritual warfare you have righteous pure and holy garments my son and will soon receive written instructions and orders regarding your assignments and this is an indicator many are hiding sin my son you will rest very soon and this is well known end of that message so let me break this down speaking of a group of believers who are causing spiritual warfare how are they causing spiritual warfare this is how you cause spiritual warfare when you're a believer slander and gossip and boy i tell you what god is not happy with slander or gossip and and this is causing you to have sin that's right this is causing you to have sin in your heart and that's why he's saying you're hiding it have sin that's right this is causing you to have sin in your heart and that's why he's saying you're hiding it so then the lord says you are you will rest very soon so i, I keep i keep praying to father i say lord it's it's intense we can we please come and get us or i can you say continually say lord please give us rest because we're in this very intense test and uh, last night we did deliverance and we really only got around three hours of sleep so i do feel pretty good though for only having three hours of sleep i'm, I'm typically i used to be like a 10 to 12 hour man so that that's an indicator that god can he can pump you up but brothers and sisters those that that are from my former life that know me uh, apparently you're grumbling and complaining maybe or slandering and gossip and the lord knows everything that you say sees everything that you do it's all recorded in your lamb's book of life it's all recorded i just want to encourage you to search your heart out examine your heart uh, for anything that you might have said or or done and um repent confess your sins hey god bless you guys and hope to see you very soon take care